Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and what I got for you today, this is kind of neat. I think it's neat. Uh, some of you might think it's neat. This is the TX03 all-in-one FPV um, transmitter and camera um, for FPV. Um, it has everything you need. The transmitter is built into it. Uh, the camera is built into it, integrated with it. It has 72 channels that you can select. Some channels, some band, frequency bands that I've never even heard of. In fact, I'll include the frequencies and bands right here, right now. Um, hit pause if you want to copy them down and see what they are, and hit print screen if you want to print them out. Okay, that's enough of that. Uh, there's some on there I've never heard of. U, L, O, and H, L and H bands. I, I haven't heard of those before in FPV, but they're available. So there is 72 channels. Um, other thing about this quad or this uh, FPV camera is it is capable of both 25 milliwatt, uh, 50 milliwatt power, and uh, 200 milliwatt power for extra long range if you're so interested. Now, those 25 and 50 milliwatts, those can be probably powered by the uh, battery of your quadcopter. But um, if you want to fly higher uh, power, like the 200 milliwatt hour or two, 200 milliwatt uh, power on this, I would recommend providing your own battery. And I'm just showing that how I hook mine up to, in case I do want to fly long distance, I can do such. I put a little 350 milliamp hour battery that I just Velcro to the belly here to provide power to this particular quadcopter. Now these cables come with this um, camera, I'm sorry. <laughs> these cables do come with this camera, so you have two choices of selecting for batteries. This little micro uh, connector here. Uh, that's usually seen on 200 and 130 uh, milliamp per hour batteries, or you can use a white low C connector for uh, larger uh, 3.7 volt batteries. And that brings up another point that this thing, the power for this one, is can only be provided from 2.7 to 5.5 uh, volts. Don't go, you know, which is 1s battery in other words. Don't try 2s's or 3s's to power it. Uh, you will burn it out with uh, larger size batteries. But um, if you're using little 3.7 volt batteries, uh, yeah, that's that's sufficient power to power this, even for 200 milliamp or, or 200 milliwatts, which makes this one kind of special. You got a 200 milliwatt camera that can be powered by a 1s battery. Uh, that's kind of unusual. That's why I liked it. I wanted to try that on this particular quadcopter. This is the JJRC H31. A uh, very maneuverable little quadcopter, uh, and as such, if you put an FPV camera on it, you can almost race this little thing. <laughs> We're going to try that out today and see how well it performs. So I hope you enjoy this flight. Well, as you can see, it's another day, and we're in a different location. Unfortunately, my hat camera, my Mobius hat cam uh, battery wore out. Uh, today I'm using a, a M20 camera in its place, and my wife will, I'll be put, putting this on my wife's head, and she'll be uh, videotaping the flight. So. Let me put it on her head, binding the transmitter to the H31, and away we go. Let's see how this performs. Now let's go to a higher rate. Let me find that rate button. There we go. And come down, come down. We're way high, way high. Still high, high. So yeah, this is working nicely, folks. This is pretty dang neat. So this is a simple way to, to convert your cheaper toy grade quadcopters to FPV racers. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, <laughs> signal loss. Let me get a little closer. Follow me, Hud. Okay. Am I going in this direction? Yes. Just go straight. Let me turn it off and on again. What's going on? Get a little closer. Maybe the battery cable came loose because that should have bound. Okay, we're good to go. Hold on. I flew a little too far. Flew out of range. So my wife's here. We're going to stay a little closer this time. Going back to high rate. Let's go over this way, hon. Just don't let it go that far. I want to walk toward the uh, landing pad. So Something came off, hon. What? What came off? We, one of the uh, landing gear? Those landing gear 
Oh. Black. Yeah. Plastic. Yes. Little landing gear skids came off, so it'll be an interesting landing. It's probably from that crash. So yeah, this little TX or TX, yeah, TX03 transmitter is working well. It gives you much greater range than the quadcopter does. <laughs> so you got to be careful, you know, if you're using little toy grade quadcopters, don't fly too far away because this this will still give you a very good video signal in the interim there. You know, I easily flew out of range of my still toy quadcopter, so that can happen. <laughs> but it's working great. I get paid. Oh, you're getting the headache keeping, keeping an eye around. <laughs> let me let me just go in front of us then. How about over here? Okay. Is that it? Is that better? Okay, sorry. Uh huh. <laughs> I like this. I get that. Hey, this. Oh, there we go ah! again. Call it quits there, folks. Uh -huh. I flew out of range again. Uh, so I'll take that hat back. Uh, that's yeah. that'll be the end of that. Okay. So what did we learn here, folks? We learned that this little camera <laughs> has exceptional range, and you can easily easily fly out of uh, range of your toy quadcopters if you throw it on a toy quadcopter. So keep that in mind uh, if you're going to do such. Probably put it on 25 milliwatts there power. Uh, that'll enable you to stay in close. You know, you'll, you'll see the screen getting scratchy, or scratchy on 25 milliwatts. I had it set to 200 milliwatts and easily flew out of range of it. But uh, also, yeah, the H31 can lift this very easily. Uh, did it very well, very maneuverable. Unfortunately, again, its range is somewhat limited. If we can come up with range extenders for the H31, that would make this an exceptional little quadcopter to, to put this uh, transmitter on. So. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.